Hello again, Bob Schmitty here, and today we're going to conclude The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she looked. Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Good as new. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. Okay. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would... Cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. You can't protect her forever. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Oh, it's Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. I like this guy. He's cool. He still doesn't trust me. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and... That was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely. I'll be forgiven. Moment. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. Well, that was good. I'm gonna create good relationships so, here. Since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it. 
on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. Good man. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, Pete's a cool guy. You're still here. Oh, not you. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Oh, Excuse oops. me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? <gasps> you shut your fucking mouth. I won't tell. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Uh, I'm just curious about the baby. Didn't mean to step on her toes like that. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. 
Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Uh-oh. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. Waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. <laughs> Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Hmm. She was eyeing this one earlier. <gasps> oh, crap. That's Clementine's backpack. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. Please.
Oh, I want some water. <coughs> okay. That's the nice thing to do. He's gonna die anyway. Time to go. Oh, wow. That's it? Yep. What are you gonna do? Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. You were dead. Krista? I, I guess, I'm guessing it's Krista. Alright, here we go. Alright, I saved Krista. By distracting the bad guys. Uh, yeah, I killed the dog. Put it out of its misery. Uh, did you give water? Yes. Accepted Nick's apology. Wow, wow. A lot of players... Well, half of them, at least, went with either Nick or Pete. 53.4%. Yeah, That's almost even. Well, close, anyway. Whew. That was intense. I mean, I was thinking about going with the, the guy, but... The younger guy. Uh, Nick, but... I don't know. I mean, Nick's a younger guy. He can probably take care of himself. And, you know, he, you saw he got away. Pete, uh... You hold your every breath. Wow. Life is Anywho, for the living. that is all for today. Be sure to tune in next time when episode two comes out. As always, I will see you guys later. 